you guys um if not i'm sure things will get better if this is your first time um seeing my face on your screen i hope you like me enough to stick around smash the button and um hit the bell so i'm in the window waiting on the package cliche because if i don't they would steal my packages in my building so sorry for how i look i'm still resting and just in the window I can't even work out today because I have to wait on the package. Um, because I work out from home. But anyway, um, y'all know when I have something to say, or if it's something random, then you know I'll post about it. And if you've been following me for a while, old comers, newcomers, then y'all know, well, mostly old comers, that I think a lot. And I was just thinking about the time when I was like 19 years old and I was um, at this church and, and I was just thinking about something that my so-called pastor said to me um, that really hurt my feelings at the time and I thought I just wanted to share with you guys. And also something that he said to another person that was married into the family. So without further ado, um, I'm just going to say. Uh, so I had got into it with someone at the church. I don't, I can't tell you what we got into it about, but all I do know is that whoever I got into it with was completely wrong. Completely wrong. That I do remember. I know it wasn't a man, it was a woman. And my pastor told me, now mind you, may my mom rest in peace and on my own soul, hear what I'm saying, on my own soul, he told me the very next time I get into it with someone at the church that I could no longer come to that church. Did you hear what I said? I could no longer come to that church anymore. Now, mind you, the person that I got into it with was completely wrong. And now that I come to it, the realization, I know what it was. She was cleaning up the pastor's office, and she had stole some money. And, um... And I knew she had stolen the money. And he would, the pastor asked me, do I know what happened? And I, yeah, I told him what happened. I wasn't finna lie in no church. I wasn't finna lie, period. And I got into it with her real bad over there, and I know distinctly she had stolen the money. But he gonna sit up there and get mad at me and believe her and told me, my bad, got mad and told me, well, I believe her over you. And the very next time you get into it with somebody in this church, you're going to get put out. Now, mind you, if y'all remember, if y'all remember, I had did a video a couple of weeks back on when my cousin had lied on my mom when she was going to that church. And she never came back. So, my mom had already left the church when this was said to me about me not being able to come back to the church because I got into it with the woman. My mom had been long gone. I'm just filling y'all in so y'all can get a better understanding what I'm talking about and who I'm talking about. So this that same church. Now fast forward. Now, now that that had happened to me, it was this lady, I ain't gonna drop her name, but she was real cool. And um... She used to go to the same church that I went to. She was married into the family because she went with this girl's brother and they got married. He was 28 years old 
he ended up passing away because he was really overweight. I'm guessing and he had got sick and I was in a praise team and she was too as well. And um he had got real sick, don't nobody really know what happened, but he had got sick, he ended up passing away. And she still was coming to the church, but she never married again. Uh, she had became a nurse. She was um, going to school for being a nurse when she was at the church. But um, um, fast forward, eight years later, she was at the hospital that my mom was in. She was that type of nurse that was a traveling nurse. She would work at different hospitals. So I happened to see her eight, eight years later. And I was like, hey, how you doing? And my mom had asked her when she was in the hospital. She was like, you okay? You holding up? And my mom being my mom was like, are you dating? Will you ever date again? And, you know, she was like, um, no, she would never date again. That, that passing of her husband really hurt her. And she don't even want to date. She don't want to remarry or nothing like that. She said she felt that when he came into her life, that he was her blessing. So, yeah, so she never married again. But I say all that to say this, that same lady, he told her, same pastor, told her, she was like, well, I could, she was still coming to the church. She said, well, I still consider myself family because you know I was married to your son. I mean, you know, I was married into, you know, the, um, I was married into the family. He told her the same pastor that said he was going to kick me out, the same pastor that asked me who stole the money, the same pastor that believed somebody else word over mine, told her that she is no longer part of the family anymore. Now, mind you, I'm 19, and I looked at her, and I just shook my head because I felt such a sadness. I couldn't believe he said that to her. And she was like, well, you know, I still consider myself part of the family since I, was, I know my husband is no longer, you know, living. But I still consider myself part of the family. But yeah, he told her she was no longer part of the family. And she ended up, I remember she had a book in her hand. And she just, tears rolled down her face. And she just shook her head and walked out and never came back. Why would you even say that to somebody? Y'all, I just wanted to share that with y'all. I don't want to be long-winded. I just wanted to get that off my chest. And I was just sitting here thinking about it. But yeah, bye.